Hey everybody, welcome back to the Slime Fun Tips and Tricks episode. And today I want to feature something that we talked about in a weekly update a couple weeks ago. Uh, Slime Fun's Dynatech add-on had released a new heater that would allow you to exteriorly, exteriorly, from the outside, actually ignite a heater without having to use fuel. This works on core Slime Fun furnaces, works on any furnace in Slime Fun that is not electrically powered, and it also works on vanilla furnaces. So we've set up a pretty small test here just to give you an idea. We've got 20 Carbonado Edge furnaces ready to go. We have a heater powering two of them each going back to back and we're going to cargo everything through here. Just this is a small, this is not obviously boomer size, this is a test. But let's go ahead and turn this thing on and let's just watch how fast all of this can pump get this thing fired up here as cargo starts to distribute through all the nodes we should start seeing 20 at a time come through there we go it's, it's with 20 carbon auto wedge furnaces we're getting 40 items smelted per second and it's costing me no fuel whatsoever i think it's a pretty good trade-off i mean we're gonna go through how many we got left in here Seventy-four thousand. You know, we're going to clear through that relatively quickly. I, I would say in, in a very short period of time. However, we're going to need a bigger storage unit. So there is no real secret to this. All I've done because of the, uh, I, you know, the space wise, you couldn't put two nodes on each furnace back to back. If we space these out, yes, we could have. And we'll show you another option where we can actually use four per furnace and have cargo set up. So in this method, all I did is I put a hopper underneath and all it's gonna pull out is the charcoal. But instead of having the hoppers go here, one at a time, which we know will back up eventually, uh, we're just using cargo to pull them out and put them into this chest. So here's the vertical version setup of this where we've got five Dynatech heaters down the middle and on all four sides, we have a carbon auto edge furnace. This should perform the same functions as that model did, just in a smaller physical footprint going vertically. And again, both of these can be staggered out and duplicated as far as you want. You just need to add energy and cargo connector nodes going up, or in that case, going across. So they are completely tileable. So again, same thing, we'll turn this one on going to start sending wood to each furnace and eventually we're going to see 20 at a time come in here so you think about it we're doing 40 per second you're doing 2400 per minute you're doing 144,000 smelts per hour with just 20 furnaces imagine if we'd really gone boomer size granted i'm not quite sure what you would do with 50 million charcoal but you're all set for the world's largest picnic, I guess. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this tips and tricks episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And as always, when you're playing Slime Fun, you gotta go Boomer or you gotta go home. We'll see you later.